squad what's up this is your girl dalo i hope you and your family are doing fantastic today i am going to be updating the decor in my kitchen i hope you will enjoy it i am so excited to tell you guys today's video is sponsored by cricut on my pantry makeover video i show you guys this beautiful label that were on my containers and I promise you, I was going to tell you how I made them. Well, they were made with the Cricut Explore L2. Look at these labels, you guys. Aren't they fabulous? So today, not only I'm going to show you how to make these Glam labels, I'm also going to show you all the other beautiful DIY items that I made using the Cricut Explore L2. Okay, you guys, this is the Cricut Explore L2. It is very beautiful and stylish. It is very easy to set up and super user friendly. Guys, when I first received the machine, I didn't know what to expect, but I quickly realized I can do so much with it and it can cut over 100 materials, things like vinyl, paper, and I can print things on wood, porcelain, glass, or even on fabric like t-shirts. To use the machine, I'm going to connect it on my laptop. I can also connect it on my phone or my iPad. It has Bluetooth capability. Here is the Cricut design space and this is where we're gonna start creating our DIYs. You can scroll down to find some inspiration, but let me show you how I create the labels. First, we click on new project and then we click on text. I need some labels for breads and cashews, so I'm gonna put that in. I can change the font if I don't like it. Move them up and down or increase or decrease the size accordingly. Once I am done, I go on the upper right corner and click make it. Over here, I am able to align my design properly, making sure it is not touching the red lines. Once I am done, I click continue down at the bottom. I remove the plastic sheet on top of my light grip mat Place my vinyl sheet on top of it and I am ready to upload. The machine tells me when to press the upload button, the C button in order for it to start cutting. Once it's done cutting, it appears on the screen. I press the unload button to release my project. I'm going to start the weeding process to remove the pieces of vinyl that I do not want using the weeding tool that I got from Cricut. This is my label, it's looking very pretty. I'm going to be using a piece of transfer tape on the wording and then use the little scraper to make sure the letters are getting to the transfer tape. Then slowly I remove the paper from the back of the word to leave the word on the transfer tape. It works best for me when I wiggle it. Place the transfer tape on the container and use the scraper. Peel off the paper, I am done. Just like that, I created a beautiful label for my container. You see that guys? You see how pretty it is? I have these coasters that I purchased on clearance from a local store. They were looking a little bit boring to my liking, so I've decided to glam them up. I use the same steps that I show you from earlier. I wanted to add some stars, so I just click on shapes and and drag them out to the design. Then I size it up to my liking and click make it. 
Once the design come out, I follow the same steps for the weeding process. Then boom, my design is out. And now my coasters are super glam. This one say glam fanatics and the other one say, hey glam squad, hey. <laughs> Clearly I'm having too much fun with the Cricut. Next design, I created a stylish napkin for my kitchen. First one say Dallas kitchen and the second one say good vibes only. I love it. Just like the other designs, I'm gonna go ahead and create the design in the design space. On this design, I'm gonna be using a piece of the Glitter Iron-On Vinyl. I'm gonna turn the dial button on the machine to Iron-On. Once again, I let it do its thing. After the weeding process, this is what I have. To do that, I'm gonna be using the Cricut Easy Press 2. It came with the iron pad. I set it up at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. I lay my design down on top of the fabric and I am ready to iron on. Keep it on for 30 seconds. I flip it and do the other side for an additional 15 seconds and we are done. As simple as that. guys. I love the Cricut machine, it's definitely a great investment for DIY projects or to even start your own business. I use the Cricut machine to personalize this cutting board. It says Glam Style with Dalu and the year that I started my channel. As you can see, I have a beautiful design in the middle. If you want to know how I do that, please leave a comment below, I will be more than happy to show it to you. Or if you have any questions in regard to the Cricut machine or if you would like to have more tutorial on how to use it, please let me know. A link for the Cricut machine will be in the description box and all the materials that I use can be found on the website as well. And now I am done with all the DIY, let me go ahead and continue to decorate the kitchen. I like to start by creating my coffee station. I'm going to be using an acrylic three-tier riser. On the tallest tier, I have my coffee and sugar all the way in the back. I'm also going to be using my clear and glam mugs. And of course, I'm going to be using my swans for my spoons. To finish up the corner, I added a candle. Everything in this corner is from Amazon except for the candle. By the stove, I have my cooking utensils. On the other side of the stove, as always, I'm gonna be having my oil. My salt and some flowers. By the sink, I'm keeping the stand, but I'm gonna switch it to the other side. Adding this cute little container with dish soap and the brush. So far, I found it to be the best system. My hand cream and then that's it. Y'all know I love this knife set. I'm gonna keep it there on the other side of the sink. It comes very handy for me. At the end of the counter, I'm gonna be adding this cute tray. I added a glam vase, some beautiful white tulips. an acrylic book holder with a book. Move on to the countertop. This is a wall mirror, but I'm gonna be using it as a tray. Then I'm gonna add this cute flower. And this vase, yeah, I know I love this vase and it has the gold to complement the other one. Guys, I have been dying to use some yellow flowers in my house for such a long time now. I'm so glad I'm finally doing that. Y'all yeah, know I love pink and white flowers. On the tray, I added my Glam DIY coasters, a candle, and those of you who have been watching knew that I updated my pantry door recently link for the pantry makeover and the door update will be in the description box and i added a tree i'm gonna add these beautiful walks and we are done
I'm gonna take this moment to welcome all of my new friends to my channel. My name is Talu, I upload Glam Home Decor and DIY videos. Please hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified once I upload a new video. Big thank you to all of my returning Glam Squad. I love you all. Please check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Glam Style with Dalu. Glam Squad, please let me know what you think about my kitchen decor update. Big thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I am having so much fun with the Cricut Explore L2. I am planning on creating so many DIY with the machine, including some birthday presents for my friends and my family members. I thank you for stopping by today. I will see you on the next one. I love you always. Bye-bye.